Okay, I've been a demonstrator for 17 years and still counting. So we're gonna jump right at it. First thing that I'm gonna share with you is the stamp set. So it's a piece of eight stamp set. We got the matching, well, matching, not matching uh, die. Why I'm saying matching, not matching, it's complementary for each other because you cannot stamp and die cut that. They, they don't go like that, okay? So I'm gonna share the bundle, what I done, and the cards that I'm gonna share with you, it's gonna be like simple, a little bit more, and then more uh, details. So you can stop at any point. Like this one here, that would be my simple card. And then if you crank it up a notch, then you're gonna have with the puff paint and the ice uh, glitter, and then if you crank it up a little bit more, then you're gonna incorporate the big shot or the die cut machine, whatever you call it. And then also I emboss the pine cone. So you see, you can do at, you can stop at any point, depending on how much time you wanna put in it. So I'm gonna go all the way to like the more delicate, but it's up to you how much time you want to spend on your Christmas card. The same thing, so if you stop here, that was the sample. If you um, take this and you use a glue stick, I try our Tombow. Tombow don't work lovely on this. So right now, if you go to the store, you can get pretty much uh, the glue stick at clearance rack at still many places because school has started. Any type of kid's glue stick or at office, the depot or so on, just apply glue stick all over. It have to be covered completely. You're gonna take a dryer sheet. And when I talk about dryer sheet, it have to be a used dryer sheet. The new dryer, the new dryer sheet will not work lovely with this. So uh, if you don't use dryer sheet like I don't, you use some, you ask somebody that use dryer sheet and the best way to keep them, if you do class in that, bring them an empty tissue box and have them put the dryer sheet in there. The, the less uh, softener you get on it, the better it work, put it that way. So if they use it over and over, it's even better. So that's how I, keep my dryer sheet. So after you put your um, your glue on it, it have to be the glue stick. Then you're gonna take your dryer sheet, you're gonna stretch it, roll it in the back, glue it there. Then I just put my corner, glue the corner, corner, and after you glue the four corner, then the side. So then it don't puff on each side. You're gonna have a nice corner. That, and I put my silicone mat under that, and you're gonna understand in a minute why the silicone mat, when you turn it, some of the glue gonna come at the top. So you take your eyes or the dazzling diamond, put it all on top, tap it, and boom, you get this. Oops. So I think you can see that felt on it. It's really looked like frost or, so that's how this one was done. I'm not demo that one, but it's in the same process. Another one that you can do that at any step that we're gonna do, I like the shimmer card stuff. Also, it gives quite a bit for Christmas. You can use our um, shimmer paint. Here we go, yes. So use the frost shimmer paint, take a piece of saran wrap, crunch it all up, you can put it on your silicone mat or a piece of wax paper, tap it in after you're all done and tap, 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 tap on it. And you got, I think you can see that shimmery on it. So that's another add on you can do. So now let's get started with plain to medium to more. So I got a piece of cardstock. I like um, shimmer cardstock or heavy whisper white. That's my new favorite. This one here measured three and three quarter by five. Because I'm gonna do the embossing, we're gonna start with our pine cone because I'm gonna emboss them. If you don't emboss your pine cone, you can do it at any time. Because I am bossing them, we're going to do it now. So I'm going to stamp this with Versamark. Put that in a corner here. And then I'm going to take the other one. And you just guess about where, because you know a new uh, Versamark. The sad 
thing about the new Versa markets, you cannot see that dirty when you stand. So it's a good thing when you get old one, keep on using it, it helps you a lot. Okay, so we're gonna emboss that with copper. You could stamp that uh, with uh, the copper ink also. Here, we're gonna put that right away in so I don't blow that away. Okay, now we're gonna heat set this. And when the heat tool is warm, it go very fast, you can see. Here we go. So now that we get that done, it's three in the stamp set, the peaceful bot, you get uh, eight stamp, you get three branch. I like to start with the devil branch and then the other two are gonna be my filler. Everything it's gonna be stamped with a pretty peacock. Put one down. Now I'm gonna use the medium one. And then I just fill here. Pretty much what I'm doing, I'm filling my card a little bit. I keep this section here for my greeting. That's gonna be hit for my branch. So you could now call that good and stamp your greeting there, and then it would be mounted. So that could have been stamped with early espresso if you don't have a heat tool. So I always try to think about newcomer too, because um, sometimes they cannot get everything uh, start to finish. So ink paper, I tried to do a card with just ink and paper. So this would have been stamped with early espresso and my greeting would have been stamped on it. You can always take Wink of Stella and blend that a bit. And I did that on the canvas here. This is dollar store canvas. It's stamped directly on canvas. So it would make a nice little frame. And I got it in this here that I had the icicle on it. But I got the wink of still on this one. So that would be something that it's still kind of basic. Now, before the next step, we're going to sponge. And I had a sponge right here. And I'm going to sponge that with um, balmy blue. And the way that I like to sponge, I like to start at the top and bring it down. So the top's going to be heavy and then it's going to go lighter. So you see, I always start back at the top and keep on going down. So that's how I can get that um, decreasing in my color. It's a name for that. Ombre, I guess. We're going to stop there. Now the fun is starting. Now, we're gonna use our puff paint. And if you guys play with puff paint in the past, you're gonna find this puff paint is very, very liquidy. It come very fast. So you wanna go slower. Another thing, if you use puff paint with a dark color, it's gonna bleed through. Blue, it's friendly for snow. Uh, if you use like I had the brown, you're gonna have a chunk of brown snow. That would be Wyoming snow because it's always windy. And <laughs> so if you don't want to bleed, then it's better if you get a light color or no color at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put where I want my snow. Like I said, it come very fast, so it's easier to put little and come back for more. I'm gonna have to do section at a time. Before we emboss, what we're gonna do is use our ice. So you're gonna take your uh, glitter ice, that's new in the holiday catalog, and also the puff paint. So I'm gonna put that there, tap it, so the puff paint gonna play as a glue at the same time. So if you watch this, so as it puffs, it's gonna keep your glitter, your ice in that. So it really, I'm from up north. I was born and raised in Canada. 
So I know a little bit about snow. So let me tell you, this looks very realistic on a very cold morning and the sun is coming up and you get that frost and it just looks amazing. So now you can see all that pretty, that, the pretty snow with that. So that was one way. Now I'm gonna share another way. Oh, well, I'm gonna share with you uh, the difference between with a snowflake or, uh, I mean, ice and no ice. So you can see the difference. And you can always add back some puff paint if you don't have enough, because it really triple or quarter pool in size. If you don't have enough, you can always add more on top of it. But you see, this is more flat. And see how bubbly that is? And you get that glitter. So now you see the difference. So that's this. Now I'm going to share with you the um, shimmery crystal effect. So feel like frost paper, if you just add this with the feel like frost paper, it's unbelievable amazing. So what I do, I just use my, see, and it's very stretchy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the crystal effect. Crystal effect, you don't wanna shake your bottle. If you shake your bottle, what's gonna happen? It's gonna give you hair bubble. So when you're gonna squeeze that on your project, it's gonna all over, so then it's not fun. Or you're gonna have that air bubble. When you're done with it, you wanna tap it down. So the neck of the bottle, it's empty. So then you won't have no problem when you come to use it again, the glue will not be uh, dry in the neck. So you tap it down, but don't shake the bottle before. You know, we're so used shaking bottle. This you don't want to shake. Now you're going to take your crystal or your icicle and add that at the top. Or you can leave it just the way it is and it gives you that ice storm look to it. So that's how I done those two different ones. Now let me bring the finished product here. Oh, before I share that, let me share you one more thing. So like I said, the dye, the dye are very, uh, the new dye, I don't know how many of you use the new dye. They are unbelievable awesome. They are thinner and that's something that some people are scared of it but that's what make it wonderful. They cut like butter. So all the little detail in that, you don't, I don't know it. I bet by two years, we won't have the brush anymore because we won't need it. If we just, it just peel up right away. So any detail stamp, not, uh, not stamp, but dye, they are amazing. They're thinner and it cut like butter. So for this year, the project that I'm going to share, what I done, I just used my, um, not crystal effect, but the puff paint, and I put it at the tip, just like what, a, after a, a good frost morning, anything place that you get little opening, I put that there. And again, I use my um, ice on it. This is what does it call? It's called ice glitter. Ice stamping glitter. Yeah, it really looks like ice. Don't let your kids make snow cone with that. I don't think that would be good on their diet. So you can see how it looks like nothing now, right? And watch the process. I think it's just magical. You want to make sure you emboss it um, till it's really puffy. Because if not, the liquid is still liquidy in the back. So the best thing is, I like to put it on foil usually and really emboss it. But dark cardstock, you are okay. It's dark ink that's going to bleed through. And see this, now you get your purple, purple, perfect snow. So this project, let me share with you. So this year, my card's going to fit in here. So all our cards going to be at, put it at the end there so you can see them. 
So, and how I finished the card, I just mounted on a piece of um, Pretty Peacock, five and a quarter by four, and then on Whisper What. So you can have the, this in the front. Let me put this in the front so you can see. So I just did two branch. I did the pine cone so you get the back and the top of the pine cone, and that's what I done on it. This come from the, or the Melody uh, kit in the holiday catalog, those little uh, tassels there. But I put my banners, not banner, my belly, that I can switch it because I think it looks good to here, this way. So you could use this for, I don't know, you can put even a tie in that for a man or whatever. You put uh, the white in the front and the back, and then you get a very nice packaging. And then I did the same thing, and I did it in the blue to match my card. I did the blue, it's pretty peacock, and I did the same thing with this. So that's how I done those ones. So this can go this way or it can go sideways, it doesn't matter. I think I put it for sideways because the snow, it's more heavy at the top. But that's how that was done. Very simple with pretty much just the dye. It's, I just used stays on, and this is all champagne. So I wanted something very rich. I think I get the rich look right there. The only thing that it's not champagne, it's in the back. I use the glitter, the dazzling uh, glitter paper. That's it. The rest, everything, it's die cut with the champagne. First, when we get the champagne, we couldn't uh, have enough. And now I feel we forgot about it, but that I think is very striking. So that is it for me today, my friend. Hope that I inspire you to get that bundle.